what you guys today we're taking a look at how to install windows 11 on virtualbox which is a free piece of software to be able to install operating systems in a virtual environment now this is very useful for people that like to uh, test software or maybe uh, do tutorials or maybe you're running linux and you want to run a windows operating system inside linux first before we start let's have a look at today's sponsor for today's video it's a CD key sales head over there and make an account. If you want to get cheap windows 10 pro OEM keys, you can hit the buy now button or the link in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R zero nine, submit your order, head over to your windows operating system, go to activation, click on change product key and enter the product key you've just purchased. Click next. And then you can hit the activate button, which will activate your version of windows 10 pro for a pretty cheap price. Links in the video description. Okay, so let's get started here. What we wanna do first is we want to head over to VirtualBox, which is a website, or I'll leave the link in the video description as well. Hit the download VirtualBox 6.1. And then what we wanna do is choose what platform we want. In our case, it's Windows Hosts. Yours might be another version, whether it be Linux or something like that, but I'm gonna be clicking on the Windows Hosts. Download that software, and then we're going to get this installed on the system. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So click on the executable file here. And then once we've got this open, just go to next. And you can make changes to whatever you want in the installation process. I'm going to leave this pretty much as I go through here, take out what I don't need, and then go next here. Once to make some network changes to let that do its thing. You may get a box popping up on the screen. That's okay, that's pretty normal. So just wait for that to pop up and then we can click on to the next stage. This is just basically getting it all ready for you to use VirtualBox. So we're just gonna allow this to go through and what we're gonna do next, once this is done, we need to get our Windows 11 ISO file. So you don't have to start it right now, but I'll show you what it looks like once we hit finish and uh, you'll be able to see VirtualBox for the first time. So it should look something like this. This is a free piece of software, as I've said, and that's what we're gonna be using for our Windows 11 install. Head over to the Microsoft website. The link will be in the video description. You can come down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click on this one here, and there's some information there that might be useful for you if you've never done this before. But move on down to where it says download. Hit the download button and then it will take us back down again to confirm and we can then choose our language. So I'm gonna use English and you can use whatever one you wanna use, click confirm and it will then give you the download link for the Windows 11 English version, in my case, 64 bit download link here. So hit this and it will download it's around about five gigs. Once you've got that, head back over to your VirtualBox software, hit new and then give it a name. I'm gonna call it Windows 11 because that's what we're installing. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. Now, the machine folder will be where you wanna store all your virtual machines. They do take up a fair bit of size. If you wanna change the path, you can do, just hit the drop down arrow and choose another hard drive to store your virtual machines on. Click next, and now you can choose the memory size depending on how much memory you have on your system. You can choose the amount of memory you wanna use. If you've got a lot of memory, you can use quite a bit of memory if you don't have a lot of memory then you have to use a, a little bit of memory try and get around about four gigs at minimum at least i would say i'll try and go eight myself but it's entirely up to you create a virtual machine disk now and we're going to go into vdi here virtual box disk image that's what we're going to use i'm going to use dynamic allocated and this means it will change in size as you when you need it go next here and you can choose the size of drive that you want to use. I'm going to use 80 gigabytes and we're going to go create. Obviously you'd have to change that depending on the size of your drive and space you have available to yourself. So next we can take a look at the details here. You've got snapshots here where you can create snapshots of your drive, go settings. And this is where you can make changes to your settings for your virtual machine, whether it will be more processors, in there if you can afford to give it a few more then by all means do so it just makes things a little bit nice and smooth and again you can see here we do have some options available in here i'm going to leave these as it is for this video um, i've done videos on this in the past 
but you've also uh, got enable 3D acceleration here and a bunch of other areas we can tweak here like storage, which is where we want to locate our ISO file. So let me go ahead and select this one here and choose a file or a, or a file, which is going to be our ISO image. And that is now been selected. And we've now need to go into here and we can make some changes in general if we want to. Like advanced, we can uh, turn on shared clipboard or drag, drag and drop from your host to the guest. If you want to do that, drag files from your machine to your virtual machine. If you're playing around with malware, then don't do that because that could be very dangerous. It can jump back onto your host machine if you have the wrong setting. Also, you've got disk encryption here and description, as you can see here. Now, there is a bunch of other settings you can mess around with here if you want to. You can add other bits and pieces in here and you can also make changes to the processor. Let me just quickly show you some of these features so you know exactly what to do. So that's where you can add uh, drives and optical drives there. And we have audio network. You can pretty much leave that as is on system. You go processor and you can just bump this up if you want to give it more processors as long as you've got that to support it. And uh, you can see here we have some display area. OK, so let's get ready to start this up and we'll get this started. So I'm going to skip a little bit here to this stage here where it says Windows 11 Pro. I'm going to click on this and click next and you'll get this message coming up. This PC cannot run Windows 11. Why is this happening? Well, the reason why it's happening is because if you've installed it in the past on VirtualBox, that's because you was using the Windows inside a preview program and Microsoft allowed you to do it. So now you can't use that method to install it. I've made a video showing you how to install it before. You can't use that method. I've made a new video showing you how to enable TPM and also secure boot on VMware. This is how you can do it on VirtualBox for now. Uh, this is a workaround. So restart up your virtual machine. And I'll show you exactly how to get this installed on here without worrying about having that. So click enter here on the keyboard so we can get to the boot up process of our Windows 11 ISO. You should see something looking like this, which is what we had before. But when you get to this stage, push shift and F10. This will open up the prompt window like this. Once you get this open, we can type in here reg edit. So we're going to open up the registry editor inside our command prompt here. This open up the registry editor, as you can see. And we need to navigate to a path, which is a uh, computer, H key, local machine, system. And then we need to go to setup. So once you're there in setup, stay in the setup folder because we're going to need to create a new key inside the setup folder here. So let me just open this up and expand it. Right click on the setup folder here and go new key. We're going to call this lab config you need to spell it exactly like this with capitals in it so do this one here just as i'm doing once we've got this done we need to then select the lab config folder on the right hand pane here we're going to create a new d word 32-bit value and we're going to call this bypass secure boot check now you need to write it exactly as it is here with the capitals in there and let me just type this out so you can see it. I'll expand this so you can see what it looks like. There we go. Let me just expand. And then we can double click on this and give it a value. And the value we're going to give it is a value of one. So you can either do seven zeros and one, or you can just put one in there. It's entirely up to you. So we're just going to do seven zeros and then one and click OK. And we're going to create a new D word 32 bit value. This time we're going to call it bypass TPM check. So that's what we need to put inside uh, that D word 32 bit value there. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to give that the same value of one or seven zeros and one, depending on which one you want to use. So I'm going to do seven zeros and one. So let's go ahead and put this in like so. Click OK. And we are now done with the registry editor. So we can close off the registry editor. We've got our uh, bypass secure boot check and bypass TPM check. They're all done. Close that off. Close the command prompt off. And now we can just click on next. 
and we can click on install. Once we do this, it should then bypass the checks that, uh, that it's doing for that uh, install. So I just need to say I don't have a product key and we can choose Windows 11 Pro at this stage and go next. And now it should bypass and carry on. So let's just accept their terms and conditions. And there we are, we're already starting to go ahead and install. I'll speed all this process up so you don't get too bored. But basically, just follow the on-screen displays. It's pretty straightforward. You can always slow this video down at this stage so you can see uh, the uh, clicks that I'm doing on here. But there's pretty much made videos on how to install Windows 11 in the past, so you can go and check that video if you need to see it step by step. But basically, you should have something looking like this, where you've got Windows 11 running on uh, the virtual box. Very straightforward and easy to do. So anyway, I hope this one's been some sort of use to you. Quite a few people asked me to make one about VirtualBox. I did make one the other day on VMware. It didn't get many views, but I thought I'd still make it on VirtualBox because quite a few people like VirtualBox because it's free. So I hope this video has been some use to you and been helpful. If you want to join our Discord server, the link is in the video description as well. It's free to join and you can join the community over there. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. Your names are running up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. See you on the Discord server. Bye for now.